someone shooting video of it and then posting the video online. Among the viral videos of the internet, the I-Team discovered even a cursory search turns up thousands of videos featuring police. I-Team reporter Colleen McCarty is here, and you discovered not all the videos show the police in a good light. No, but you know, it goes without saying that videos showing routine police contacts, thousands of them every day, don't generally end up on YouTube. Instead, it's the out of the ordinary encounters that go viral. And while most of those are shot by folks who just happen upon a scene, some frequent posters, like the two you're about to meet, go looking for law enforcement. Hi there. I can I help you? No, I'm just being an observant citizen. Okay. Is that okay? The voice behind the camera, Lily Gonzalez. And as you're about to see, her presence oh, is apparently hey, not okay. Hey. Yes, sir. Oh. Put your camera down. Is, is there a, a yes. law against uh, put the camera put down. down? The video on YouTube ends abruptly because Gonzalez says she complies with the officer's orders, at least that one. Yet while in handcuffs, Gonzalez turns her camera back on, and what she records puts the police perspective into focus. Okay. You know, the very, we're on stop. If you have a weapon, we're not going to let you stay in here while we conduct our business, okay? Plain and simple. That's off the safety, okay? You think it's a joke. Gonzalez claims the Clark County School District Police detained her for 56 minutes before releasing her without charges. And yes, she walked up on a traffic stop in her own neighborhood with her dog in one hand, her camera in the other, and her 45 on her hip. Why should they be afraid of a law-abiding citizen who openly carries a gun? Gonzalez and her friend David Stilwell actively exercise their Second Amendment rights. Next time you're here. And routinely post their open carry excursions online. The two, along with other like minds, consider it a form of activism. Exercise your rights, they preach, or prepare to lose them. We will pull out a video. We, w we will ask questions. Um, the Founding Fathers said it's our duty to be a vigilant citizen. How we look after our country is to just check on the checkers. Among their videos challenging gun rights, Nevada's helmet law, and DUI checkpoints, a YouTube search of keywords like Las Vegas and police captures thousands of images of local law enforcement. Not all of them flattering. You know, we deal with it. Um, we know it's out there. Sergeant Tim Bedwell explains, like both the Henderson and Metro Police Departments, North Las Vegas PD advises officers to assume they are always on camera, no matter how unwittingly. The worst part about it is... And you never see those outcomes that are positive for the police. You only see anything that might come out negative. Put your camera down, it, it's, it's well, Case in sure. point, says Bedwell. Can you lawfully be armed and have your camera? Absolutely. But I think common sense would say there's no reason for you to make them make you make them think about you as another potential part of the problem yet the producers insist instead of instigate they work to educate and even after 56 minutes the evidence justifies the means here Lizzie I'm glad I did it because it gave me a sense of power to know that these um, these exercises are going to benefit somebody down the road Several police agencies we spoke with are familiar with Gonzales and Stillwell, and reaction to them was mixed. To insist, however, they try to work with police and often do so successfully. The Clark County School Police Department declined to comment for our story because its investigation is still open. And if you'd like to check out some of those videos of Gonzales and Stillwell have made, they're on our website at natenewsnow.com. Thanks, Colleen.